it is easy sometimes to forget what the Christmas season's all about. Mm -hmm. Charles Dickens wrote an entire book about it, inspiring countless movie adaptations. Even Mickey Mouse has a version of the Christmas Carol. But sir, Christmas is a time for giving, a time to be with one's family. I say bah, humbug. Scrooge McDuck, mm -hmm. this not is, a happy man. <laughs> this is why, for the past 30 years now, Catholic Charities of the Twin Cities host special events to remind us that this is the season of giving. And here to tell us about one of those events is Catholic Charities Chief Program Officer, Keith Kazurski. Hi, Keith. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about, um, you guys are celebrating 30 years, right, of this program. We are 30 years at the Mall of America. Catholic Charities served about 20,000 of the most vulnerable in our community. And this is a great chance for people to come out to the Mall of America and give back to their neighbors that are a little less fortunate. It's the giving tree. And the last couple of years, you guys had to be, as I recall, you're outside in tents, right? We were. We were outside in the parking lot meeting our neighbors, uh, bringing in gifts and standing in trailers shivering. So it'll be nice for you to be safe. inside, right? You have some space, people can be warm. and It will, it'll be a lot more comfortable. Keith, tell us a little bit about what's on the table here. Sure, so these are our giving tree ornaments. So if someone were to come out to the mall this weekend, mm -hmm. they could take one off the tree and see that um, our, the children in our mental health program really need um, some coloring books to keep them active. Yeah. They can go into the mall, shop for it, drop it back off at um, the Macy's Court, and we'll make sure it gets to somebody that needs it. And these are so great because they tell you right here what to buy. It's not like it's a guessing mm -hmm. game for you. Like, this is a card that I just grabbed. It says hooded sweatshirts and sweatpants are needed, waterproof gloves, winter coats, underwear, men's jeans, and belts. So this one would go to the St. Paul Opportunity Center? Exactly. And, and this would tell you exactly what to buy. So when you're there in the mall, it's, you're not going from store to store going, well, yeah. what do they need? Oh, great. I can pick up two sweatshirts and donate them. Fantastic. Exactly. I love that idea. I think uh, part of the other, one of the cool ideas about this is uh, you can get there and you can get to work. Right? You guys have a whole thing that people do. They're exactly. Assembling things. A great volunteer activity that we have demonstrated here, a sock and roll that has all the essentials for someone who might be currently experiencing homelessness and living on the street. So tell us about this. This is what you call the sock and roll, and this is like a little care package. What's in here? Exactly. So it's a care package, a warm pair of winter socks, some hand warmers, lotion, chapstick, um, and tissues, things that are essential in a cold um, Minnesota night that can easily be given to someone. So then the volunteers would come and they would put all of these things. You have one sock that you would wrap it in. You throw the other sock and then the hand warmers and all of this in here. Exactly. It's a great activity if you're looking for something to do this weekend with your kids yeah. that teaches them a little bit about the spirit of the season. It's a three-minute activity that you can do with your family mm -hmm. and then go off and find something or do your shopping at the mall. We just had a story on the news a couple days ago about socks, and it seems like, you know, it's something that so many people take for granted, but having a good pair of socks or a few good pair of socks can be the difference in making some, some you know, drastic things can happen to people if their feet are cold. Exactly. And, and this can really make a huge difference. Exactly. We see people every single day at our shelters or at our drop-in centers who don't have proper shoes, don't have socks, and being able to give them something like this just makes an incredible difference in their life. And I do like the idea that you bring the whole family there. Yes, I do too. I mean, too. It's, it's nice to always keep, um, you know, the kids kind of focused on the giving piece over the holidays yeah. versus the receiving. Exactly. Start them young on that. What else do we have here? What's the, what's the significance of the pot in the pan? Yeah, so here? these are some of the items that our clients are looking for, whether it be a warm blanket, a pair of waterproof gloves, um, a pan or a book for children. Um, you know, so many of our clients um, end up experiencing their first apartment or their first home through Catholic Charities. Mm -hmm. We have a thousand units of deeply affordable housing and to be able to give them a pan or some dishes to start yeah. out with just really says to them that the community cares about them. Well, it's a necessity that when you're on a limited budget is hard with food costs being what they are, transportation costs being what they are. It, it can be really hard to accumulate these things. So yeah, you're right, super important and, and hard to find the money sometimes to buy them. Exactly, and something we all take for granted a lot. Have you seen the need go up 
over the course of the last year with the way things have sort of turned economically? We have. Um, we're still seeing the tales of COVID, sure. the impact of people not being able to work in the service industry, things like that. And the, the current economy is really tough on mm -hmm. the folks we serve. Well, Keith, thank you for being here today. It yeah, was... hopefully people come out to Mall yeah. of America. It's, it's a great event. You can be warm this Bring year. The whole so. Exactly. It's a great way to start the holiday season. No doubt about it. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Merry Christmas to you. We want to let folks know the Giving Tree event is happening this weekend. It's at the Macy's Court inside Mall of America. So again, you get to be warm. Remember, if you are not able to attend this event, but you still want to participate, you still want to help out, the Catholic Charities Distribution Site in downtown St. Paul also takes donations.